Ginger and Tobago, welcome to another edition of Scoreboard on ACTN. It's always a pleasure every Tuesday evening to come into your homes and bring something that's relevant in sport to you for your enjoyment. Uh, this is our second show for the, uh, the new year 2021. We're hoping that all the supporters from last year will continue joining along with us and giving us all the good feedbacks. And you can critique too, we are mind. We will learn from that. Tonight we want to tackle that topic that I think will be very interesting. It's the Trent Tobago top sporting decade, sporting moment for the decade. And who else could come up with, with, with an idea like that? It's the two men from up north. Let me introduce to you Dennis dun, Allen, dun, dun, dun. CEO Rep 868. Why, why, why? And it's just the, the next man has so much a title that if I'm going to call the title, it will take up the hour show. So, ladies and gentlemen, the token red man, Christopher Gill. Token Chris red man. man. <laughs> Christopher hey, Gill. ACTN, Happy New Year. You know what I mean? I ain't think I see anybody for the New Year yet. So, Happy New Year to everybody. So, gentlemen, in a nutshell, how it was for the in 2020 into 2021. Well, I was over in Tobago, mm. and, and where we call the Tobago Alps, mm. with my um, my girlfriend and her family, and mm. uh, of course my youngest backyard again. Mm. And it was the most restful five days, six days. It was really, really nice. The boat going up was kind of hell, mm. but um, that breeze, that vibes in Tobago, we can't beat that at all. Can't beat it. Um, the year started off really nice, really, really slow, but pointed in the right direction. So I can't complain at all. Um, but I had to say, you know, it was a good start. What about you, workers? It was a quiet start to the year. I want to say it was quiet. Um, but I had fun with the kids. So far, um, I'm looking forward to what, you know, what 2021 going to bring. The only thing that I vex in about, and I just, I just me, is even I just vexing about the no carnival, and it's not just not just the no carnival, but the no carnival vibe. Mm. Yeah, so I find, uh, you know, somebody asked me how Trinidad is the other day. I say, boy, right now we flatline. We like a, mm. we like our patient in the, in the hospital. I talk, flatline. I talked to somebody who said carnival Tuesday. They put it on the last year. Cost him and walk in the room. Go walk over there. <laughs> yes. All of that could work for yes. me. Yes. Actually, I was. Uh, I don't call no name, but I was thinking. Of, I, I was thinking of doing a kiddies carnival for the longest while, right? Mm. And um, we have this idea that we want to do a costume for for the small man there. So mm -hmm. we might still do it, and if we build it, mm -hmm. we going into. Um, <laughs> we going into it. Mm -hmm. We going into it hard, and we going and going tongue hard, same way. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, yeah, see, because see well, yeah, yeah, get permission. No, if it's just you alone. Just though. you alone. You ain't not going congregate <laughs> or anything. No, we can ladder right here. So you alone, <laughs> gentlemen. Well, you all come with that, with that topic. I think is is a pretty interesting the top topic. The, the, sporting the, moments, moments of the decade. decade because it is a new decade. Yeah, twenty twenty one. You know, yeah. we starting off. Fresh. So, so technically, so I think the decade starts at 2020, but we ain't going to that discussion. Yeah, you see, we ain't going in that discussion. You no, know, you gotta understand start. something. Yeah. You gotta understand something. I was born in 1971, mm. so everything in my life Start starts on a, on a one. Yeah, yeah. That's just how my thinking yeah. is. So yeah. I'm gonna oh, be you. 50 this year yeah. in a few days. So if all you want to send thing, I eat anything. <laughs> We're taking no, no some meat. money. No <laughs> meat. Yeah. Have number one time, you know. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll post up my, my, my PayPal on the um, mm. on the bottom somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, well, uh, you where know, we begin. Where we where do we where, who do we start with? Do you, do they start by the top. Yeah, we stop. The Not on the bottom. Yeah, look at the <laughs> start, start. Start, start at the start of the decade. Yeah, yeah. And at the bottom of the pile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The bottom yeah. of the pile. Yeah. For me, yeah. we, we had discussed this. 2011 was the year of Jack Warner. The yeah. Jack Warner scandal. I think, you know, it, it, it mightn't be considered a sporting achievement, but in reality, it really was. For a long time, Jack Warner was the biggest name. Mm. In professional sports, sports yeah, in Trinidad, yeah, 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 in the yeah. Caribbean, in the world, mm. and he led the whole, the way we did sport business in this country and in the region. Mm -hmm. You know, so I like to say, if you're swimming with sharks, yeah. why would you want to have a goldfish 
we had the biggest, baddest shark yeah, 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 yeah. and the biggest, dirtiest pool of sharks. So for me, I had to say Jack Warner, you know, yeah, you'll give win or a, lose. You'll give a little, um, if I had to do it all again, yeah. I would have I would have had a little more responsibility. I would have somebody standing over his shoulder like that. Yeah. But Jack Jack did it. You know, with uh, flair and style yeah, and yeah. you know he built yeah, a lot this, of yeah, personal yeah. wealth and from where he came from eh? a, a from teacher where, yeah, in yeah, poly yeah, right like yeah. get real you know, right a, a teacher you know, in polytechnic you, you couldn't even speak properly listen jack wanna have pictures with him next to obama mm -hmm. the queen yeah prime minister of england yeah um world leader. let me cut it short world leaders world leaders all around the world yeah. he saw the pope i believe yeah yeah more than one <laughs> yeah. jack wanna there so long more than one jack yeah. Lana outlived what three four pope <laughs> easily um you know and and so many other stars yeah you know beckham you yeah. know, call them call them yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. know all these both stars. ronaldo's yeah. both ronaldo's oh, um Ra ronaldinho thierry, thierry yeah. messi yeah. you mm. know i mean he and, and then, and, uh, and I'm not going to take away from the, the things that he didn't do right. Because mm -hmm. in the end, they caught up with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, ish. Because he's still, he's still, yeah, 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 he, yeah. he would have been up already. Because yeah, yeah. he's up early in the morning, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't say ish. <laughs> <laughs> but you know he's Gabriel early. He's known for that, so he's usually be up two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. He did. Mm. Jack Warner played a big part in the World Cup, going from 16 teams to 32. Mm -hmm. that, that a lot of that was a Jack Warner, um, not necessarily initiative, but I, I, I want to say he had a big part to play. Mm. Jack Warner had a big part to play in the under 17 World Cups. Mm -hmm. In terms of their gestation and, and coming to fruition. He had a big part to play in the 89. Um... He had a big part to play in the 89 <laughs> scandal where people was getting ticket, but Tickets, was ready in yeah, the world. Right, it had it for a stadium with twenty five thousand two hundred and fifty thousand tickets uh, <laughs> <laughs> and all other things. Creative, creative financial engineering. Creative financial yeah, engineering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but know, you know, the one thing I had to say about Jack, um, if if it if it's at all possible to get this to Jack. <laughs> Jack write the book. If you need anybody here to help yeah, you, yeah, call yeah. Chris myself, whatever, we could we could put something out. Yeah, I, feel like said, like said. I want to see the tsunami. Get the title. Nah, like I want to see the tsunami that he had promised. Yeah, the tsunami. <laughs> tsunami I want that file. tsunami a file. But you know what? Yeah. It would be sort of like titled The Good, the Bad, the Ugly, Jack yeah. Warner. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good title? Yeah. Yeah, anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was Jack, you know what I mean? Yeah. Love him, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Love him, hate him. You cannot deny that right. he had a big footprint. Right. Huge. On yeah. sports and children. Yeah. And Huge footprint. Huge footprint. Right. I think that was him. Right. So, so we're moving so, so, from, from so the... We, we are Jack Warner. The not, the not so auspicious beginnings to 2012. Yeah. 2012 was dominated for me by Kishon Walker. Yeah. 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 No doubt about it. And I, but I, before... before the, why his, his name stands out really to it? Eh? Before he win the gold medal. Remember that year he had success in Carifta mm -hmm. and um, he was junior world champion. Mm -hmm. And yes, he was junior right? world champion. So basically, if I'm correct, he got three major titles. Whips, whaps, in a very one. very short. It and was, I don't. It, I think if you check, I don't think there is anybody else who whoever went. Yeah, yeah went in, up in that, that fast. I think it was like in, within a year. Yeah, it was the same yeah, year. He went three yeah. major, major titles. It was an yeah. interesting mm -hmm. thing because he had come on my mm -hmm. show. Um, that year after he had done the Junior Worlds and we were talking about him going to the Olympics and his qualifi he had achieved the qualification mark mm -hmm. at the Junior Worlds and he mm -hmm. was glad, he was just glad to be going to the Olympics. He mm -hmm. was, it was going to be an eye-opener for him and, and stuff. And I remember he literally won the gold medal on the last day of mm -hmm. athletics in the, in the stadium. Yeah, that's right. It was the exact last day. He was the last competitor for Trinidad and Tobago. Um, so I don't think there was any pressure on him. Mm -hmm. And he just went out there and was having a good time. And in the end, he did, I suppose, the impossible, you know, let's put it like that. Um, but in that time, it's so good to see how much Kishon has matured. But as my whole thing, I think, I think most people just look at Kishon winning the gold medal. Because, you know, we like this major, major success. Yeah. But as I was saying before, if you look at that year, what he did, he... Really, mm -hmm, did something mm -hmm. that I don't think there was a build up, it wasn't yeah, really yeah. a surprise, right. it didn't come out on the way. Junior, I mean, that's a huge achievement. 
it was a massive achievement. Mm. And then the party that they had when he came back was even bigger. Yeah, that was great too. That yeah, was fantastic. Yeah, 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 the party, drive, was, yeah, the the party, was, the party was great, but in the senior champs, mm. a dot of that crowd came to see him. That, I think it has reasons for that, you know. And, and I don't want to overburden this conversation yeah. with where we failed, because yeah. this is really about where we try. You connect me putting that in as a major. Yeah, you yeah. know, I think for, I think what Kishon Walcott's gold medal in London represented for us was really a start, a restart, because before that we had 1976, yeah. you know. Paisley Crawford, and then we had so many close yeah, yeah, with, yeah, yeah, with yeah, seconds yeah, yeah, with yeah, Arto and, yeah, and, 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 and Richard and all of that. But, but and, they, and, and, they had a, and they had a kind of a gap, mm -hmm. um, you, you would have to say, a gap between but, Arto's no, achievements and, and, and then when Kishon's basically ushered in a new Yeah, era but of, again, you know why we have to give Kishon that edge? Crawford won a goal, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, just won a goal. Mm -hmm. But... That build up for Kishon, that is what put it. I would think if you have to put a top mm -hmm. achievement, I will give him that because of the major mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. in a year span. Yeah. And no, I, well, a not, not only that, I mean, something that we need to remember too. Kishon is from Trinidad, Toko, mm -hmm. as a black man. Mm -hmm. Let me not forget that this is the first black person to ever win this event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, full stop. Right? And well, no, now they have two. That that meant so much to the sport because yeah. usually, like you, you just mentioned, you know, the the 400 meter men in the past. Then we had Arto, and then we had um, uh, uh, Hazley Crawford. We've we've had that traditional sprinting on the track. Mm -hmm. Never ne had never anything. Feel, never feel. Yeah. yeah. So Kishon yeah. has opened up a door for athletes because if you see Kishon join a track club. You know, the first thing you go find out, all right, Tito, let me see if you can do, let him run some hurdles or let him run some 400s. That's the first thing you go on, you know, go on do. But, you know, you, you, could, you could never get the best duck swimming against a best fish. You know what I mean? So even if you're a duck and you're swimming and you're real getting one, yeah, if you're in a world with <laughs> fish, yeah. you ain't going to win nothing. True. So what Kishon's gold medal opened our eyes and it was like that brilliant moment for us here is that, oh, we have other types of athletes. Who could, you know, like to yeah. do other could, things. I know, I saw, wow. I, I, I still here studying the three major achievements mm. in that one year. But as we go down the road further, we will see that he added to that, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. For as sure, said, for sure. Matured. So, 2012 was Kitchen Walker's year. Right. Right. So what else we have there? From 2012, we go into 2013. Yeah. And of course, I biggest at, moment. Yeah, I looked at it the other day. When you call me, I kind of look back at it on YouTube. And it was interesting. J. Hugh Gordon, J. Hugh Gordon wins the 400 meter hurdles, hurdles men's world title at the IAAF championship. World championship. Fantastic mm -hmm. achievement. Yeah. But was the race itself, was the dive to the line. Yeah. It was a dive to the line, and, and I think, you know, he got it by the smallest of yeah, margins. Yeah, mm. the lean, literally, a lean. Well, a trip. It looked like he tripped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, at did, that, you, did you trip? <laughs> at the end of I'm that asking. race, Chris, right, that's one, that is considered the hardest race, right? And he did a fantastic time. It was a 47 and change, eh? was, right. I think, 47.9 or something he did. It was, right. one, it was the fastest time in the world that year. And he peaked at the right moment, but... You know, he had the presence of mind to do that lean, and that really made the difference there. Because, I mean, we're talking about Jay who got now. He was a pro. He got his contract. He had all of that. I mean, and, he had his cologne and all and of that. All that time, he was locally. You right, know, locally. Born here, grow here, and build here. here. You know? And you're training here. Right. And again, another, another endorsement of the fact that if it's done right, mm -hmm. we can build the uh, a world beaten athlete here. Yeah. It's yeah. not impossible to mm -hmm. do it. It's, well, it's, it should. It, you know, mm -hmm. we can do it. And yes, we still do need to probably take our athletes to compete away because the competitions are the higher standard. Yeah, you know, I think for as a as a national business model of creating top elite international professional athletes, I think that Jay Hughes 
personal ambitions, mm. his personal discipline. I think that is an exceptional quality that you don't usually find. So it's difficult to build something, a, a, a standard model on exceptional yeah, talents yeah. and exceptional personal characteristics. Mm. So it come like, you know, you want to build a wall and you say, well, my father used to be a mason and well, maybe I could do it too. And you go on and you just flip in and, and, yeah. and you know, you build the wall and you you're were, working yeah, at it and it fall along on you. Mm. So we have to be careful with how we project those successes forward. So yes, it happened here, but do we have the types of athletes with the types of support systems and the types of personal ambitions who want to make it outside? Brian Lara did it. Yeah. You know? Yes. Yeah, the, the, without going into too much, yes, we do, but we don't take advantage of it or the systems are not operated or often enough or and or... You know, um, I was doing something the other day, and it said, um, you, star athletes don't just arrive at your doorstep, you develop them. And we haven't, over the last decade or so, I don't think we have been developing enough star athletes. Yeah, but I mean, we, 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 we mentioned Kishon just now. Kishon never went to college to, to yeah, do yeah, nothing. Yeah. He never got no scholarship. So again, it's possible. You know, so it's, it's homegrown talent. We're talking about homegrown yeah, talent, yeah. right? I, I think homegrown talent has come ever so often, because if you go back, I think it was 1948 when we got our first medal mm. with Rodney Wilkes. Right. I did an Homegrown talent. Yeah, I did an interview with him before he died, and he used to train with the Finn and um, Kane. Bon, was that Kane? Mm. Yeah, yeah, you mean the whole story. Yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah we, we, son? We you have, see how he dropped that dub plate? Yeah, yeah. I, I interviewed Rodney Wilkes. Yeah, he best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but we, we've had, you know, Roger Gibbon was a, a, another example of homegrown talent. Yeah. We, we had a number of top cyclists for homegrown talent, runners that were homegrown talent. Um, again, I, w I will always say the problem is we just need to have a proper development system mm -hmm. so that we can take the homegrown talent and develop them. And even if we don't develop them to absolute top world class, we can develop them to that sub world class level where they can then progress to the next level up. But we're not doing that. Mm -hmm. Instead, what we have is what we have going on right now in sport. Um, Nothing. That's, that's what's, what's going on. Nothing. Zero. Yeah. Zero. <laughs> yeah, remember, we're keeping this thing positive. We're right. looking forward. Right. Zero. From, no, from we, 2013, we're going into 2014. 2014. But I feel we're going to tackle 2014 when we come back from break. Sure, no problem. But what happened in 2014? We'll talk about it. But here's <laughs> what. We are we are asked a couple of our friends, colleagues in this business, yeah, to, give to us. talk about their top three moments. Yeah, so right, yeah, yeah. we're going to start with one of them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We'll be right back after the short break. Greetings. I'm Kwame Lawrence, Multimedia Sports Director Producer at Caribbean Communications Network, CCN. Trinidad and Tobago's top sporting moments for the past decade. Number 3. Cyclist Nicholas Paul breaks the flying 200 meters world record at the Elite Pan American Track Championships in Bolivia in 2019. 9.100 seconds. Number 2. Jehu Gordon is crowned world champion in the men's 400 meters hurdles in Moscow, Russia in 2013. Number 1. Keyshawn Walcott, Olympic men's javelin gold at the 2012 Games in London, England. One of my fondest memories covering sport for the Trinidad Express and CCN TV6. Keyshawn was just 19 and that result was an absolute shocker. No surprise though that Keyshawn is at the top of the list, Trinidad and Tobago's top sporting moments for the past decade. You're watching ACTN, The Voice. CTN The Voice, your family-friendly station. Welcome back, viewers. Welcome back to Scoreboard on ACTN. I'm chatting with Chris and Dennis, and we're trying to come up, viewers, with the top three or top ten. Top moments. The top moments. How much ever we get right. through? Top <laughs> moments of... Um, 
uh, uh, um, sports in the, in the decade from 2011 to this, um, 2020. So far, we have touched on um, Jack Warner, Kishon Walcott, Jehu Gordon. 2014, what happened in 2014? 2014, I think we had, there was a, a Commonwealth Games, um, but no, nothing no. really stood out to me. It didn't come away again. And I had to go back to Dylan Carter at the junior, the, um, the junior Olympics in Nanjing. Dylan Carter came back, he won a, a bronze and a silver. And that was when he really announced himself to the world. The reason why I would pick Dylan Carter is because I get the feeling he's going to do something really, really terrific in Tokyo. All right. So, you know, sometimes it's like you were just saying about Kishon, you know? Mm. The story that you, the, the, the general audience, the fan, who is not necessarily the hardcore sports fan, you might not see that moment before the podium thing, you know, the highlights. Oh, tonight on so, 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 we have Dylan Carter just won gold. You know who is that, right? He didn't, he didn't send back a, a thing. But <laughs> when, you, when you go back into the, the archives, <laughs> when you go back... If you could see George's laugh. If you go back in the archives and you, you look back at, at where these athletes really announced themselves on the world stage, I think this was Dylan Carter's moment where he really, I mean, he'd been in the shadow of, the very tall shadow of George Bovell, Bovell yeah. GB3. And, you know, GB. coming out of that, you know, how do you compete with that? You know, but I think so far, Dylan Carter has really established his name. And I think that um, Youth Olympics in Nanjing was his door knocker moment and that's why i would give that the top moment there but certainly there were uh, me at, um, i joined a blank games. because i honestly can't think of anything happening right. and I, I actually i, I can't remember what i actually kind of did like you know kind of look back to dig around dig around <laughs> a little bit and what i remember is he world cup yeah um and i can't remember who win who win that world cup 2014 oh that was when <laughs> but who win that world cup I can't remember. Yeah, so like 20, a blank, like a blank. 2014 is yeah. like a, 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 a big oh, kind of Germany. Yeah, yeah, a yeah, big yeah, kind of yeah. a, a, a big kind of gap in the yeah. whole like so what already went on. What happened in 2015? Well, certainly 2015 would have been Me, um, Soka, Soka warriors, Soka, Soka princesses, princesses. Wherever they were called. What's yeah. that? Soka female, female uh, women uh, warriors. Um, is um the Soka women princess. warriors they were calling. What do you support yeah, yeah. themselves? Soka princess. Mainly, mainly. Yeah. But message oh, message I, message think, I think they were calling they themselves the women warriors. Yeah. Well, what about the ladies national? But you know team? what I liked about that? It started off slow. That whole campaign in 2015 yeah. started off slow, and it started to build. And I remember when. They got to that point where they were got in, kind of like into the last rounds. It wasn't quite at the end as yet. And, you know, the, the, the entire thing reminded me quite a lot of the 89 campaign. Well, I'm not going to tell you why that will be the top moment for 2015 is that we will never see a crowd like that in football again. Well, not for a while. Not for a while. <laughs> not for a while. <laughs> yes, and, and not only and it, that. It ties back into 89. Ties back into 89, mm -hmm. but I found what... It, what I was particularly impressed by was I found that Melee Atten Johnson did such a fantastic job of leading a team. My family? No, it's oh, not. Okay, but okay, she's okay, a okay. friend. She's a okay. friend of Melee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, she really? It, yeah. She really did a good job. Yeah, yeah. It, she was a fantastic captain, a fantastic ambassador for mm. the team. And that team raised the spirit of our nation, mm -hmm. without doubt. In my vibe, I found it, 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 it just, you know, you got that kind of real sense of, a, we proud team of these and good country team and, and patriotism. Country. And, and, to, and, and it started off badly. You remember, part of that journey mm -hmm. was that they went to Houston with the coach, Randy Waldron. Randy yeah. Waldron. And people had to be bringing food for them because TTFA and the money yes, was yes, tied yes, up. Yes, 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 yes. And the government didn't know that it was going, and the check, and this, and that, and the other, and all that kind of yeah. drama. Yeah. And it ended with such a big... You know, they were making such strides. Um, the only thing they end is win. Well, yeah. and in the end, the only was, thing they end is go. Yeah, the only and thing. But they, was they, they filled I, all I, the I, blanks I, I up know, until you, then. You know, you, the, the game they played against Ecuador where they lost 1 0, it was a similar 1 0 victory to 89. Yeah, because and they had gone in Ecuador, draw 
they drew nil nil up there in yeah. in altitude. Everybody thought that was the harder game. They come into Trinidad. Yeah, it was supposed to be a romp, right? Well, I don't think they thought it would have been a romp. I think they just thought that they had a much better chance, chance here yeah. of achieving a result. And if they had drew, I can't remember if they drew nil nil here. If the if it was a case of their being able to go. Or the extra time would have happened here if they had extra time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, and again, I suppose we fell one goal short. But I mean, I still think it was a fantastic achievement. Mm -hmm. You know, for, um, and when, since then, women's soccer has taken a massive dive. Take all the women. When you Trinidad take soccer. When you take when you take the soccer warriors. When you take the um, strike squad and and you put this into that perspective mm. this was their like I just said their door knocker moment yeah, yeah this is where we now start to take women's football in Trinidad and Tobago seriously. not necessarily seriously mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. um, I think we we still don't take them seriously yeah, yeah. you know we don't pay them enough money we, we have that situation with where they were um, where the wolf the Wolf League. Oh God. Like, wolf, no, why why no, does no, that no. some league that start? Even, there was Wolf. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about that. What I'm talking about is as a national women's senior national team, I don't think we take them seriously enough. I don't think we, we don't take women's football seriously as a whole. Yeah. yeah. So that, 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 that yeah. to me was their moment. If they had won, I think the outcomes would have been a little different. But certainly time. looking around, mm. seeing the, the, the young women in it, I think it's... It, Gave them a, a certain amount of credibility and validation that really, really, I mean, priceless for these yeah, young women yeah, coming yeah, into yeah, the yeah. game I, now. As I said, they were inspiration to the nation. So yeah, I, really, mm -hmm. I, I was blown so, away so by we'll it. So give still. them the nod for 2050. Easily. I, yeah, yeah, for sure. Easy but I, think sure. I, I can't recall anything else happening. Full and every yeah. stage, the stadium, I mean, that, 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 that's when a that's hard that thing happened. to do. You know? yeah, that's yeah, hard to do. Only Marshall concert. That's hard to do. Yeah. Onward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Only Marshall concert does yeah. for this year. Onward, onward, let me go. Maybe, maybe what we should do is have the Marshall concert and have the event in the middle of it, you know? <laughs> onward, <laughs> yeah. I like the idea. Yeah. Moving to 2016, we're not counting it down, going backwards. We're going at each year, what yeah, was the standout moment? Yes, yeah, standout moment. And um, 2016, obviously, Rio Olympics. Um, it was supposed to be like the, the big showcase for us. We, we had that belief that all the success that we had in London Olympics mm -hmm. four years ago, we would have been building on that and extrapolating and whining low to samba. No, mm. it didn't happen that way. Didn't happen exactly that way. D did anything happen? Um, well, we had some close misses, and of course, Kishon Walcott Brought going the back on the on, on the podium. Well, you know that I has was, never no, happened before. I was before. waiting for this mm. moment to go back. To right. What I was saying earlier. Karifta, Wool, mm -hmm. um, Panam, Panam, mm -hmm. and the and the Olympic and the Olympics. Right? That was in 2012. Right. Right? Everything more or less you get in a year time. Within a couple of years, you come and win bronze in the same event? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So and there's no doubt that... See, I, would tell you, I mean, he is... If you have to give to me... This is my own... Mm. I feel you have to give an award for the... Sportsman of the decade. Sportsman of the decade. decade. It's Kishon. I think Kishon will have to get it. There's no... Facts. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Yeah, that's a runaway. That's a runaway. Right. Yeah, and he ain't done yet. Again, yeah, that. Again, yeah, that. And he ain't done yet. But that's done. He's, 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 and I he's, think, I think if, if the in Compton Tees, we, if the Olympics had happened in 2020, because mm -hmm. it would have been any decade according to y'all, but it really is in the next decade according to me. Yeah. Forget that. That's just fake. News. I think, I think Kishon would have again been any medals. In my bet is that. Uh, I think, I think that year off. It helped him because remember he was he had sustained some injury, injury yeah, and yeah. he had done some. Well, I'm not supposed to talk about it, but let's just say, mm -hmm. to me, the year off is going to be beneficial. Is going to help right. him a lot. Kishon is not the kind of fella. Javelin is a very technical um, sport. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not as it's not like if you go and pelt mango, mm -hmm. right? It's, it, it people have these very strange notions of what happens in javelin. The reason why you go to a javelin meet and you watch and you see people, sometimes the difference between uh, a three-meter um, 
your, your, your best throw is might be as much as three meters, four meters, five meters. When you look at the difference mechanically, you can't really see that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't see the difference, you know. But for Kishon, I think that year off, putting all of those things together, I think this Summer Olympics, I think he has every valid reason to believe that he could get back up on the podium again. And I really want to see that happen. I would love to see that happen. But there Kishon, was something else that I happened. I would love to see that happen. What else? There was something else that happened over in Rio. Marshall Cedeno is breaking the national 400 yes. meter record set by Ian Morris. It was um, 19, 19, 19, 18, 19, 19, 1992. 92 Olympics. No, it was not 80, 88 Olympics. It was 92 Olympics. 92 in Barcelona when he right. finished fourth. Right, also. But Marshall Cedeno, known for his awesome finishing kick, you know? Yeah. He just didn't have it at that time, but you know, it was a, a national record. I mean, you cannot ask somebody to do anything more than run the fastest you've ever run. Yeah, 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 run yeah. the fastest yeah, any yeah, trainee yeah. has ever run. You know what is it? But it was it? just a you little bit short. When you make a finals in the Olympics, mm. the, the top eight, mm -hmm. when you look at that achievement, if you come, no, I know we look at success right through. Right. But let's say you come eight, right? You come eight in the entire world. People say, you come last. He come last, but he come last. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every morning, yeah. FM radio, radio host, George, I, I just want to line them up. I know. Uh -huh. um, and what are you going to do? I will, I will let, I will let. Calpet down your plap, 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 plap. No, I want, I want, I want hands, so. Kishon. Oh, who called that boy? That is a hard I want calpet. Kishon to slap them. <laughs> nah, boy. Line up all of them. And start, because no, they just he, don't he, get he, it, boy. If you hit them hard, they still go the head and then up in Sometimes, Listen mm. to the, them radio station and the DJs, and, and sometimes I'm not saying that they are, but sometimes they come over kind of illiterate. Yeah. They are. Especially, well, I am saying that it, some of them are. It, really. Especially with some of the. They have a nice it, voice, it, though. It, especially with some of the topics and the advice they want to give to people. Right. Yeah, you know and I think that they have to realize that you're dealing with no, people, are. so you have to be careful how you're. You know, yeah. some, some of them, their language and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah sir. But we're trying to keep right. it positive but, here. But what I say is, <laughs> but, but, yeah, but, yeah, but what I say is, what? Once you, once you, to me, once you make a final eight, you did well. Yeah, sir, because it's have people go through the entire life and never qualify for Olympics. Final. I have those who qualify for two and three. But, so, yeah, yeah, and, and then you have to put that in perspective to the reality of, a nation with 1 million, 1.2 million, 1.4 million, the resources we have available, yeah. um, up against countries like England, the United States, Australia, who have a sporting development infrastructure, sporting science infrastructure, a sporting financial infrastructure. Sporting fans. Sporting <laughs> fan infrastructure that we just don't have at this time. Mm. So a lot of times we bat these, our athletes are battling the odds long before they get to an Olympics. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's a difficult thing. Um, the, you know, just, just a, a minor comment on his side. Brian Lewis is the head of the Trinidad Tobago Olympic Committee. He doesn't get a salary. That's absurd nonsense. Brian, that is absurd nonsense. And I'm not saying it for Brian to hear. The reality of it is all the competing Olympic committees that we, our athletes compete in, they get paid. Mm -hmm. they, it's a, it's a well-established paid outfit that is working to establish sport unlike here but that again i ain't going in that i ain't yeah, let me yeah. stay positive 2016 yeah. we're just on t20 oh, wins for oh, west yes, yes, men and women, women. on well, the women's side we only had a couple of uh, uh, athletes on the team the team was really led by um, Stephanie Taylor. Stephanie and DeAndre and these, um, Haley and... Um, no, but we had, um... We had, we had, we had Anissa, Anissa spinning up a storm and... Doing and, a real good. And, 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 and we had Stacey Gang King. And Melissa, we, we can uh, keep... Right, yes. Yeah, so I, 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 I will, I will, I will really run, I will really run that too much. Why, boy? But no, no, no. We win, at, we win a world championship. I yeah, but like I, to more of a Caribbean. Um, but hold yeah, up. but we had a role in it. So but I am men, giving that. But the men final. Definitely, we had a footprint on that. More than a footprint, because somebody asked me the other day, my son actually, we were talking. He said, 
how much people made up the team, how much you know, and I said, let me count. Yeah. By the time we ended up counting, it was seven or eight yeah. on yeah. the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 the men, we, we had that covered. Yeah, for sure, for and sure. That is still why West Indies, the rest of the West Indies, and like Trinidad, yeah, yeah. cricketers. No, I, mean, I ain't going in there. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I ain't going in talk too much about I have it. said that, you know, West Indies cricket was standing in the way of the West Indies players, and they rose to the challenge despite whatever setbacks that they had. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. you know, Dave Cameron and his, clo his cronies really have a lot to account for for the fall of West Indies cricket. Mm -hmm. But certainly that double win, men and women, I think was a moment in history for the sport. And that Trinidad and Tobago athletes played a part in those wins. Fantastic. <laughs> so we give them for that. Uh, big part, big part, big part to play. 2017. Oh good. 2017. 2017. For me, I find the four by four win with Lalon. It was with yes. Lalon. Um, who else? La, La Long was the last, the last leg. It was um, who else was on that team? Um, we had to go out. Jareem um, Richards was on that Jareem, team. Jareem, um, Cole. Renny Cole and um, no, but Rene didn't run the final. Um, who ran the final? If um, Asa Guevara didn't start. This fella, um, oh gosh. And, um, and the same man you just talked about who break the record. J, J Pump, Jaren, Jaren Salaman, Jaren Salaman. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. and um, the yeah. national record holder. Marshall. Sedenio. Those, right. but it was the way in which they won. Yeah. You know, and that's what it, would be the states, eh? And, and yeah, it, yeah. Was, it yeah. was not just, it was the way in which they won and who they beat. I think, for me, just personally, on a, you know, looking at it, I think something that would inspire. Mm -hmm. Anytime I feel to get inspired mm -hmm. about my country, mm -hmm. I would just take a look at that, that run over and over and over and say, yeah, mm -hmm. this was to me, one of, to me, if I had to choose a one, two, three moment, this would definitely be my top moment. I just found it, it was so. We had just, my girlfriend and I, we had just moved up to where we live right now. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, it's real desolate, lonely, mm -hmm. you know? And I was screaming so, oh, no! yeah, yeah, I was screaming yeah. again. No, 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 the no, no, neighbors it, it was a good thought race. I was beating my wife. It, it, it was <laughs> a good Everybody. <laughs> Lord have mercy, Lord have Everybody mercy. Everybody coming and they're they watching and I, it was good yeah. in the sense that at least I know nothing can happen to me mm -hmm. and my neighbors would not at least pull out a camera. <laughs> <laughs> but that definitely, it, it's, yeah, it's yeah. one of my top three moments of the decade yeah. and I ain't gonna lie, I love to mm -hmm. see I really has so much mm -hmm. dynamics and everything, you know, and you know, wow, the, the few team sports and, and Track and field athletics, mm -hmm. definitely. It's up there. All right, we need to take a break. When we come back, we'll deal with 2018, 19, and 20, and then we will see. Closing hard. Yeah, we're closing yeah, hard. Yeah, we're closing so hard. We have another one of those tips uh, uh, from one of our yes, colleagues. Yes, so we should so be running that. Watch, um, watch these, um, these, these other sports uh, journalists. They came up with um, their top three, so we'll see if we could match So them. pay attention to the ad break there. Yes, we'll be right back after the short break. My name is Brian Lewis. I'm the president of the Trinidad and Tobago Olympic Committee. The Trinidad and Tobago Olympic Committee is also the Trinidad and Tobago Commonwealth Games Association. So, my three favorite wow moments, I've just had it in the wow, right? So, the wow moment for me in the last decade, hmm, so, here goes. Number three, would be the Michelle Lee Ahi's gold medal at the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games in 2018. She made history. It was awesome. Number two, Rio. Kishon Walcott bronze medal making the podium for the second straight Olympics. That's an achievement that was memorable because it's never been done before. And of course, ta-da! Number one wow moment for me in the decade, 2010 to 2020, is Kishon Walcott's gold medal at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Yep. Nothing can beat that 
in the last decade. Kishon Walcott, javelin gold medal, creating all sorts of history. So that's it. That's my three wow moments of the last decade. <laughs> You're watching ACTN, The Voice. ACTN, The Voice, your family-friendly station. Welcome back viewers, welcome back to Scoreboard and ACTN. If you're now joining us, well, you won't miss anything. There's a repeat tomorrow at 1 and also on Saturday. So we give you all that extra view. Ah, you like that. <laughs> Gentlemen, we have come down now to... 2018. 2018. And we had volleyball, Jeremy Richards and Michelle Lee are here. Volleyball? Team sports, women's team sports in Trinidad and Tobago, we have a lot of talent, but because we don't have that, mm, we don't really succeed. But the volleyball, women's volleyball, the, the regional dominance built into a, finally an appearance at, at the, the World Championships in mm. Japan. And it was fantastic. It was yeah. good to see. It was, again, the culmination of a lot of preparation. Of course, volleyball not being as popular as, mm -hmm. as football meant that they probably didn't draw that massive media attention. But as an achievement, it was equally as good. Yeah, uh, we, opened, we opened hard. We opened against Russia. Mm. And for about that first few minutes, we looked real good. We looked real good. And then reality hit us like a brick. And... Um, the facts of the matter is we don't have the pro, pro sports support systems in place to really take it to the next level. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, we showed our faces and we put our names on the list. So for me, I think it's that's really that's just a, about that's building that's a moment. Yeah, yeah right. it's, building interesting. There. it's interesting that he talks about women's sports because every time that we have, every time that we have invested in some type of women's sport, seriously, with our athletes, we have achieved world-class results. Mm -hmm. True. Um, the netball, football, netball. the netball, the volleyball, um, Tennille Campbell with the cycling. Um, and it's amazing to me that we don't um, step back away and take a look at what are we doing right and mm -hmm. what are we doing wrong in terms of women's sport. True and possibly having an entire um, sporting development program that deals exclusively with the women or female athletes. In mm -hmm. Starting from the primary school, coming all the way up, because if we probably do that, we can probably have way more success um, in our sports and in our female sport. Um, and, you know, and it's sad because sometimes I think a lot of times people only look at, at the mm -hmm. female aspect of, well, you know, they're good to jump up a little bit and do this, and then carnival and party, and, and, and we need to look past that. Right. For time's sake, we need to kind of like... Press on. Press, press on. on. Yeah, right. So we have the volleyball. Then you Jareem have and, and um, Michelle Lee, yeah, Commonwealth gold medals. Yeah. But yeah. you know what? Um, while I'm, I'm, I'm always happy to see any trainee on the podium, it was the first time... A female Trinidad athlete what, went yeah. all the way to the top of the yeah, podium. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, Cleo, we didn't talk about Cleo, and Cleo is one of the athletes of the century, of course, mm. um, male or female, but she's, she's come second. She's, she's been on the podium, but she never made it to that final that step. Breakthrough number one. Yeah, it's and it's Michelle Lee, for whatever, is the first senior international mm. woman gold medal. At that level, it's, you know, that's a definitely a precedent there. So I will give Michelle Lee the, the edge over Jareem because, I mean, enough respect, Jareem. 
you know, we've seen a man step up to, to the, the plate with that before. But um, certainly Michelle Lee, I mean, since then, we, we, we know of, of her struggles with mm. the uh, Miss Tess and, and yeah, she had yeah, to be yeah, sanctioned. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Phone not but vibrating. But that so. is, that is mm. over. Mm -hmm. um, she's out of sanction this year, and she yeah. is definitely yeah, going to be yeah. making I think, I think a, I, a few... Um, I, think, I think that year postponement of the Olympics... It worked out for us. <laughs> it worked out for us, and for I sure. think that um, the, that ban to... I feel it will do something to her to really... Yeah. yeah, yeah I, I hope it gets yeah, her angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. gets her and angry enough that she trains harder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because remember, it, it, it is a ban, it is a sanction, but mm. she never tested for yeah. any yeah. any substances, yeah. right? So, so we have so. to be very careful with how we portray what took place there. As a journalist, I want to say, all right, it's a ban, it's a ban, it's a ban, but, you know, the Trini and me wants to be a little more compassionate and say, all right, it's a little different, mm. but um, certainly we want to welcome her back to the um, the national team. And I will always say, Michelle Lee, I think you made a really bad mistake in not running in that relay. Mm -hmm. um, yes. But that's yeah. that's something yes, you know. Yeah. That's you that, had to that, live yeah, with that. That, that, that done. That what, done. What, what game we had in twenty? Um, Alvin Jones goal versus USA. George, George is next. Pipe. Listen, George, I had to say. The, the Americans that was coasting on we were talking about the swimming pool down here yeah. in Coover. I think they, they Coover and uh, you know, Central Trinidad and Tobago we and all of that. Coover. And they were sliding and all of that. Oh. But when Alvin Jones rest the pipe on them and send them out of the World Cup, I think, out. yes, you know, every flashback. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to, to, uh, 1989. Yeah, yeah, that's how they went. They went out. You, you can't just get them the out. You gotta get them Every out flashback in, in my out. mind, I was like, this out. is yeah, 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 poetic yeah, yeah. justice. That, that, yes, sir. They, it was. What's that? They did all kind of... And it was a top-notch goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah, it was a yeah, top-notch yeah, yeah. goal. Might be the goal of the decade, too. And it's interesting that, that I think at the halfway mark, America was definitely in the qualification places. And I think it's the last three games that they yeah. failed to win. I think yeah. they lost. And also Panama had kind of had their own part yeah, because, to do too. Yeah, yeah. But like was, three games was playing that same the, day. They huh? were supposed to beat in that. For yeah, any, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Transfer they should have bring yeah. Michael Phelps though in the yeah. swimming pool. Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, onward. 2019. Uh, Nicholas Paul will record yeah. and gold medals at the Panam. Yeah. I think it's the first time. Uh, the cycling has re-established itself as having mm -hmm. um, a dominant group of, of riders. Right. Um, I mean, the, 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 the whole thing with the, with the now infamous marijuana detection slash mm -hmm. ban or whatever did put a little tarnish on the, on the, on the trophies. But um, I don't think anything That's could, it, yeah, I don't think anything could take away from his world record, mm -hmm. his achievements. Um, you, you know, he's the first cyclist since Roger Gibbon to go up there and win. No, his double story kind of similar to Kishone in a mm -hmm, way. Mm -hmm. In a way, very because much so. He appeared on the scene and that's like that always from here kept going think, up, you know. I think what's different is that he went to, to, to Switzerland and he had that very important intervention at Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they were saying, I it, would say that there is a bit of a slight difference. Um, uh, so like Bramble never went to Switzerland. Yeah, right. Bram yeah, Bram Bram yeah. right. But he um, he's a sub ten, and the only sub ten sprinter who is completely homegrown is Bramble. There were a couple others. Who who else yeah. went sub ten? Uh, yeah, Judah. Judah. Who? Don't call, don't call him that. Not, that yeah, he not, went sub 10. He went sub 10 when? Who's that? Uh, Who's that? In Colombia in 1999. Who name he called it? Judah um, Cogent, Cor Corrin, Cogenton. 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 Yeah. I didn't interview him. Did he, boy? No! I don't know what you're talking about. Don't talk to you no more. Nah, yeah, no, no, right, Jude right, got right, it done in. But if, if it is, we will be, yeah, we'll yeah, come yeah, back yeah, and apologize yeah, to Jude. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, he yeah, was a, yeah, a, a top yeah, class yeah, athlete. Quincy might have gone sub 10. No way, man. Yeah, I think Quincy did do no way, bro. something. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> that the is reality not, of it is, uh, I, I, I think, um, I'm hoping now that Nicholas and Quincy Brown are both back in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. They're back there right now? Yeah, they're back over there. Okay. 
Yeah, the bin over there. Um, uh, I want to throw something else into there too. Go ahead. All right. Terry Corsford's fifth gold medal at Kerfta, at Kerfta Games. Yeah. That, it's, it's just ridiculous. First of all, you get a uh, um, special comp uh, dispensation to, to compete a year before you're under 17, under 18. And then, because usually you do two as the junior and then two as the senior. Um, so he had an extra year. And he took way full advantage of it. So Terry Cosford, his birthday was this weekend. Mm. So I want to say, you know, enough respect, Tariq. Um, I expect yeah. him big things. You know, his teammate um, Z is a world champion right now, right? Mm. Um, so he's going to do a lot of, he, he's had a whole year off. He's going to do a real good stuff this year. I really expect him big things from this guy. But let me tell you, I was there, I saw it. It's amazing. This guy is an athlete, you know? So I had to include that there, even though it's a, it's a junior event. But it's something. It's, it's, a, it's a hell of an accomplishment to have, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, and that takes us to? Fully into the 2020, the it's biggest, it, it, you have us coming up, wake up in the night, and you're, you're going to whether it's the bathroom or your fridge or whatever, and you kick your toe, boy. Hard. That was yeah. 2020. Yeah. The biggest toe stub yeah. in Might the dark. still have a black thing on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Hey, nail the wow. nail black still. Yeah. You know, somebody asked me, I had an interview with um, a, 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 another colleague of mine, um, Andrea De Silva. She's doing this series called Mask On, or Masks Up. Mm -hmm. And um, she asked me, what was 2020 for you? Mm -hmm. And I will have to say mm -hmm. that I lost so much opportunities in the year. And the sports in general lost so many opportunities in the year. Um, but to see the few little highlights um, that we could talk about right now, um, what was the biggest one for me? Cool. Um, the, the biggest one for me was the fact that the traffic lights stop a man by the, they get stopped by traffic lights and it was three minutes late that's the biggest one for me what's that the men and them remember they reach three minutes late hey i buy the lights <laughs> I'm, in, I'm coming now hold up keep the court open i'm coming now oh, really I'm in the no i'm coming out right there i see in the court Anyhow, yeah, on, yeah, on yeah. serious thing, I think <laughs> yeah. um, 2020, the biggest moment was really Tyra Gittens. Mm -hmm. um, she's been an exceptional athlete. She's a mm -hmm. college athlete, um, Texas A&M, and she's a multi-sport athlete, so she does the heptathlon. But she, three-time All-American for last year, three events, heptathlon, long jump, high jump. Set a new um, national record in the long jump or the high jump? Uh, long no, jump. Yeah. And this year she is continuing building on that there. But what is going on with Tyra is we're going to hear a lot more from her. She won again this weekend. Mm -hmm. right. She beat her teammate, who is the high jump, the um, long jumper on the team. She beat her teammate. Um, so Expect a lot, Tyra Gittens, very, very personable young woman, mm. a lot of ambition and a lot of talent. Yeah. Um, of course, we can't talk about 2020 without repeating, we're talking about Trinidad, um, the Trinbago Night Riders. Oh, yes. Right? Um, with the, the CPL win. And I we think have it's a their third, is what they, 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 third, third or fourth. Yeah. Third or fourth title. Mm. Right. I know we have won. I, I, That's uh, maybe, I maybe don't really four, talk for cricket. Last <laughs> yeah, yeah. But definitely, th that was uh, certainly, um, you well, have to well, say yeah. that was a big achievement. Right, no, no, and, franchise and cricket. Huh? That had to be the big um, achievement, you know, because that, that was the only thing that really was happening. Well, that was the yeah. only real thing. That was the thing thing only real sporting event that happened, yeah. to, to, to be yeah. honest. So I, I give, and as a, although it's TK, um, TKR, Trinidad, Trinbago. Night. It's not really a Trinidad franchise, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's, um, so it's, it's, only, it's not the only man, Trinis, yeah. but the country but has support. embraced them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the team has really a, a, a uniquely Trinidadian flair to it. And I will say that, you know, I mean, the, the 
They have a big Lendl support. Simmons, they have a big support base. Kyron mm -hmm. Pollard. Mm -hmm. um, these are these are the two big names on the team, and I, I will Dwayne say that Bravo, boy. and the Bravo brothers, yeah, of but, course. Um, you know, we we can't we, 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 we can talk about yeah. this team for hours. Yeah, you know. But I think um, the biggest moment was um, yeah, in band. Hmm? Yeah, in band. Was a game ban? Game ban in football. Yeah, easily. That, 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 <laughs> that, 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 that is a thing never achieved before. That is a great spot. We get banned. Yeah. Even if it was for two months, half a month, I ain't know how long we really get banned for. No, but, it's, no, but you see, it's not only the ban, you know. Mm. It's the whole thing surrounding the whole. Yeah. We, you had to talk about it. <laughs> it went in court. It big, it big, it big, it, it big. It was the biggest. The, the, Fatma write the letter, say, all the ban. And a story, you know, when when you look at the 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 logistics of how that went on, you know, it sounds a lot like a personal vendetta, and it sounds a lot like somebody putting in place blocks to make sure that whatever mm -hmm. possible wrongdoing that may have gone on yeah. is not discovered. That's how it feels to me. Well, you but, know what? I feel the opposite. I feel mm. that you had a group of people coming in with the I imperative that wrongdoing had taken place. We're going to dig it up at all costs. And the costs didn't have anything to do or the digging up of these perceived wrongdoings, whether they're real or not, yeah. had nothing to do with the development of football. All right. And you know what I feel? Go ahead. Let's kill that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, know about less than two minutes. Less All right, less I just want to say the one last thing, Dylan Carter again. Right. He probably now has about nine national records, mm -hmm. and his performances for the the LA LA Current, sorry, mm -hmm. in the ISL, um, he had some but definite, definite medal, big, some. big performances. Another minute. Your top three. My top three would definitely be, um, I want to say, Kishon. Um, Kishon one, Kishon two. No, Kishon one would be number three. Um, the girls' team, Women's World Cup, would be number two. And without doubt for me, because it just inspired our nation, would be the four by four. I just, I, every time, as I say, I just think it wasn't a massive achievement in terms mm. of our gold medal but it was a massive achievement in terms of what they did for our country. That's how I look at it. Yo. Nicholas Paul in third, Tyra Gittens in second, and of course, Kishon. Kishon is definitely the sports moment of the, the decade right. for, for me. And for you, George? Mine is the Kishon. Righty. Um, the 4x4. Four four. Righty, right. And Tidil Campbell. Right. Tanil, we didn't get a chance to talk yeah. to talk yeah. about Tanil, yeah. but Tanil definitely is fantastic. Tanil, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's that going to be projecting into before. the next decade, right yeah, there. Yeah, but I'll get to the Tanil. Um, I'll put it up inside here. A pioneer. I was trying to I was trying to determine between she and um, Nicholas Paul. Nicole. I'll give her, I'll give her the Yeah, she doing something. Never we have done. about twenty three more seconds. Closing. I just closing. I just want to say I want to look forward to a great twenty twenty one. I hope the we get some sports. I want something to talk about, please. And you, and you had to say happy birthday to your big son. Happy birthday to my big son, five years old. <laughs> right. Five hey, seconds. whatever it is, whoever sage had a burn candle, whatever it is, prayers, novena, whatever it is you had to do, please, please, let me get sports back on the agenda. Please, somebody. Please. You know what I mean? You're not going novena. We have, we have come to the end of another edition of Scoreboard, your ACT, and we were trying to look at the top sporting moment of the decade in Trinidad and Tobago. We came up with a few. Yep. Um, that is what we think. But if you want, you can send us something and tell us your top ten or your top three. It's have many more. But again, we want to thank Chris and um, Dennis for coming down and spending this time with us. And we always look forward to having them on the program. Tomorrow at 1, Saturday at 1. We're coming back next week and we're catching the ride back at 8.